One hunter to Ukraine. Going for Ukraine. And we have the knife round again. Woohoo. Yo, Ben, sing song. Ah, Left up to Imprion. Uh, he's gone. <laughs> Got these knife rounds are so fast. Sorry, I was uh, on the phone. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn you. Alright, because you were on the phone, you can take the first round. <laughs> I can take the first round. I love you. No. Um, let's let's see. I'm going to pick it up with Mixer. Uh, the opener crossfire is always going to be jolly good, and he picks up an 8 frag, so he's going to work in Ukraine's favor. He actually gets taken down by Houdini. <clears throat> Houdini says, it's all great and it's all fine that you pick up 8 kills, but... I don't need you anymore. So, uh, three on three situation here. Let's let's actually pick it up, Houdini, the bad man. Let's see if he can actually make up for his mistake. No, he can't, because Shady nades him into oblivion. And, uh, let's actually see, where is Shady? He's actually at the, he's at bottom ace. Picked up an AK. That is gonna make him a very, uh, complete player. Ned is actually gonna dispose of the player into B alley, and, uh, last player is now in basement. It's Rolex. He picks up Ned, so that is good. One on two situation here. It's doable. It's winnable. And he's actually doing a smart thing right now. He's retreating back to a safe place in corner. Shady on the front of A. Hyperion and Caffey. Uh, they're actually setting up a pretty good crossfire now. Shady is covering that cross towards B, and uh, Hyperion is going to check that A cross, but it's not going to matter. Shady picks him up as uh, Rolex tries to peek from corner. One to zero in favor of the Frenchies on the harder side. I would not be happy if I was Mixer. <laughs> nope. I mean, that, that could have been their round pretty easily, actually. But uh, this time, not able uh, to get any opening frags so far. You can actually see Baz here in the uh, A. That's not for long. Ark's gotta pick him off. Now we have a 4 and 5. Let's uh, make that a 2 on 5. Make that a 1 on 4. As uh, Ukrainians are falling like flies, Atom did pick up one. But there you go, the second round goes to France as well. I didn't know you saw that right there, but the nose and reg of Ned there was ridiculous. He jumped over the street, he shot him like, didn't care to zoom in, he just shot him. Nose him with AK, all, all the way down. But let's actually pick it up with Baza, as he's pushing aggressively into that bottom maze. This can actually work out very well for the Ukraine as Adam actually picks up a player behind him. This is going to be an A push from Ukraine and that's something we do not see often and it's working out brilliantly for them as they pick up three kills. Unknet arcs down. So that is a five on two and a bomb is going to go down on A. It's actually when you're rolling that side it is not hard to hold and uh, Shady actually replies with the bottom. I think it's too late as uh, it actually picks up Adam as well. So this is looking better but Mixer picks him up eventually. One to two, first round for Ukraine with a brilliant A push actually, something we don't see often. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. I, lo I loved how they were like, screw it, let's go A. And it, and it worked out well for them. But uh, this time they are going for B. They're just jumping over that, uh, that thing. They actually text on Ipri on there, that wall bang from him. Marks meanwhile did pick up Baza, but a full on that's coming from Houdini. This could well be a Ukrainian route, unless France can uh, take control back of this B-side. Net does uh, try and do that. Picks up Rolex, but Mixer picks up Net. Just left up to Houdini. Can he go big? He's uh, charging in like an elephant. And Hyperion, of course, hears him, shuts him down. 3-1.
and uh, wow, um, that should not have happened. So, uh, let's see, Anton, that. once again, pushing, uh, but uh, Net coming in with a double frag. Vasa as well, back onto Net. Let's see, uh, Ox as well, to Rolex. They start pushing in, Charles is back with the three on as well. So, your last man, one on two. So, in a bit of a precarious situation. Uh, Shady is gonna spot him actually, but not just had this nade in his hands like. <laughs> Can Bowser go big? I'm yeah. not sure if Shady actually spotted him there. And also, I want to mention it, but getting Ned in the heat of the moment, actually picking up his teammate, Unk there. That was indeed a double kill, but it's not the double kill we could have hoped for. And uh, Baz is actually trying to move around. He's trying to find Shady, but Shady is uh, doing the right thing. He's taking up a defensive position. He's going to meet up anytime soon. Now Baz is going to push in. Is he actually going to find a kill? No, Shady's too quick with the eagle there. Empties it into the body of, uh, of Baza. That is another round for the Frenchies. It's, uh, it's not looking good again. Ukraine, only is your side right now. They really need to uh, get these rounds in. And again, they have two opening frags. But we've seen a time after time that they give away situations like this. So let's hope that they're not going to do that again. The Adam actually pushing up the Kafi with his teammate, the... With with his teammate Baza there, and now it's actually looking good for uh, for Ukraine. Five v one, Shady left. Bomb's gonna go down, and the Shady's gonna be in all sorts of trouble. He actually picks up another frag. They're on the Baza. Here's one that's back A, but Rolex is too quick. Picks up the frag onto him. Plus five, securing them a second round on the attacking side. And look at Shady. He's already on eight frags. Let's pick it up with him. Let's see what Shady can do. Uh, look for some beats. Find any. Oop, he actually did spot one there on top corner. Picks up Fudini. Arx as well to Atom. And uh, we actually see an A push here from Ukraine, but it's it's been truly put to a halt by Arx and Shady. Now Unka's been down by Mixer though. And uh, who's scoping now when Mixer is an SMG? Uh, AK, sorry. So, picks him a second on Tuara. Picks a third one onto Shady as well. Sure to Ukraine. Can't get this round back in. France should not allow this. Net and Hyprion Nets being down <laughs> by Mixer as well. Mixer going absolutely big. Blonde's gotta come down on some way. There's uh, Hyprion, your last man for the baguettes. One on two. Actually has come down from Mixer here. It's, uh, being very careful. Rolex is in his support though. Yeah, uh, gonna pick oh. now, but being down by Mixer. What a lovely play by him! He picked up the AK and he uh, managed to really pull it back for Ukraine. Mixer single handedly picking up five frags, securing that round for Ukraine. Absolutely going massive. He actually dropped the AK again, he's back on scopes. I'm actually gonna see what he's gonna do. He's gonna jump on top of the bus. He's uh. Oh, his teammates are dropping the flies again. He pushes into Gaffy. Spots of clear there, Hyperion down with the AK, but picked up by Ned, who is uh, over at A. Houdini is going to reply on the arcs there, he's going to get pushed from Ned, that is, and Ned again, brilliant little wretch there, and taking out Houdini with a deagle. And make sure should just stay on that AK, and uh, ace some more. But uh, perhaps he can do it with the scope as well, let's see what he's going to do, he's going to watch the B cross once again. Pretty uh, connecting everything, but... Uh, Trying that picks up Vasa with a grenade frag. Crane, a man down. Uh, pretty much Nat has pushed his lighthouse. Uh, Rolex yet, but Rolex is gonna find Nat. And Houdini as well to unk the SMG combo has been down. Uh, Rolex once again onto Shady Arcs, back onto Rolex though. But Atom is trying to push Hyperion, but Hyperion is having absolutely none of it. He's gonna pick up Atom. Two on two. Sir, looking for Hyperion. Finds Hyperion. Just, 
uh, Arch's last man for France. He's uh, picked himself up by Odini. So it's gonna go locking. Corner. So finding anything. I think he's a little bit mixed up of where uh, Arx is. Just uh, chilling his beans in top corner. Will Mixer notice? Will we go for it. Yes. So meet up. Ooh, gets him onto Arx and Mixer to clutch once again. Well, not, I mean not once again, but hey, he did well. <laughs> Well, you can basically call that round two rounds back a clutch because he uh, single-handedly disposed of the whole French side. So uh, let's actually follow Ankh here. As, uh, we've not given him much love just yet. Ankh is actually going to tag up a player onto uh, on towards the basement there. He's not going to connect with a frag though, but his teammate uh, Ned finishes him off action. eventually. Ankh with a frag though onto Rolex. And every time I expect the Frenchies, the Ukrainians are getting picked apart and Hyperion with two, net with two, and wow. Oh my god, the round wasn't even over. I was just looking at the chat for a second and the round was over. Yeah, they're getting destroyed. They were getting destroyed. It's not. They're actually playing better on this map than they were on Crash. They have four rounds already. And, uh. I don't know. It's, uh. Again, they're on the favorable side and they're not doing as well as you'd hope, but Rolex proves me wrong. Picks up a frag, arcs the response onto Rolex. Hyperion again. Onto Mixer, and that is two frags again already for Hyperion. From that Caffey side as well. To be fair, no AK should ever be allowed to get so many frags from that position, but it's happening from uh, for Hyperion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Hyperion is uh, playing really well on this Caff side. Is, is there... The thing is, what he, he just kills the planters, and that, that's, that's really good. Hyperion here, once again, shuts down Bassa on the bomb. 7-4. <laughs> Easy peasy. Com well. comes, out, comes out with a with a bind. And I kind of read it because it will destroy your brain. <laughs> anyway, take it away. Well. <laughs> if, uh, like you said, Easy peasy, like one of our uh, CSGO characters would put it, Easy peasy, 11 squeezy. As France is demolishing the Ukrainian side again, Arx pushing up aggressively. Actually, Phil switches, but nevertheless picks up the frag. He's on four kills already. He only got Rolex to find, and he's surely gonna find Rolex. As the uh, teammates are surely gonna give him this ace. As uh, Arx pushes around the corner, picks up Rolex. Five frags for Arx. And he uh, single handedly destroys the Ukrainians. Eight to four. Well, again. Not looking good. Arx was like, uh, screw this man, I wanna win this round, you're not stopping me. So we continue with the second half, the second map, here on Crossfire. See what Ukraine can do now in defense. Perhaps we can see a comeback. But we'll see. Let's see what Mixer is gonna do with the scope. Get himself in a position, he did spot a player there, over towards that light. Rolex meanwhile did pick up a frag to uh, net. Uh, Hyperion and Unk as well, Baza and Odini down now for Ukraine. Unk takes up his own teammate, but Unk nevertheless picks up Rolex. Uh, you know, just, just falling like flies, just left up to Mixer. But uh, not for long, it's, it's 9-4. And what a play by Unk, he just pushed outside and took control of the A building and then, then this was easy. Not more to say, really. <laughs> Dude, let's give Adam some love. He's uh, the SMG for the Ukrainians. He's gonna actually push up aggressively here. He's gonna move towards the smoke, go into B, and he's uh, already into Melon, so that is could actually work out well for him. The player at B, who is that? Who is that on the B side? It is Arx, he has no idea that uh, he's already pushed up in the side, but Adam, what are you doing? You heard him jump into the Bialy, and why are you looking at the wrong direction? So, so unlucky, and yeah, well, 10-4. This is looking like, uh, look, uh, this is looking like Crash all over again. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you saw that, but Shady just attacked uh, Adam through the wall. Uh, on, uh, on 
Melon, that's that's why you know. Uh, Houdini and Bas are both getting frags. Hippriel and Net straight back onto the Ukrainians. You know, uh, Net once again onto Rolex. Net's doing work here onto this BLE. He's gonna continue his push. Uh, he's just spraying like a madman, only the, uh, to find a, a bullet in his brains by Mixer. Now the plum is going down, I believe. I, uh, no other than Mr. Shady. Shady picks off Mixer. Just up to Atom. And get to see a clutch from Atom. Take it up quite heavily and being down by Shady's AK. Yeah. It's gonna be a crash all over again, unfortunately. Yeah, well, of course the Ukrainians can still come back from this. I mean, it's never too late. But um, right now it's not looking likely. So let's see. Mixer is gonna take it up into his own hands again, push it up the street aggressively. Two quick frags, net and arcs down. And he actually turns around at the wrong time as Imperium pushes him in the back. But Adam does the same, at least tries to do the same. But Shady is gonna have none of it. He's gonna look like. He's gonna look at Adam like, what the hell are you doing? And he kills him. Okay. <laughs> you seem to be having all these fast rounds, don't you? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's really extremely interesting. Match point, Nat picks off Barca. It's all on the Ukrainians. 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 Sorry for that. Ukrainians. <laughs> Ukrainians. <laughs> Adam, though. On two marks. Four on four. And yeah, two on four as Houdini comes up big, picks up two. Meta and Unk both down. Imprion charges back with a return frag onto Adam. Mixer actually pushed up. He's got two players to his right. Now look around that corner, picks off Imprion. Surely Shady will be there, but there's Mixer to the rescue. And we'll get at least one more round more into this game, into this group stage. Well, take it away. Mixer uh, is saving the uh, the pride a little bit for Ukraine there. At least they got one more round than they did previous map. And, uh, let's see if they can actually extend this. Maybe uh, go really big and extend this into overtime. But Net is having none of it. But then again, Houdini actually replies onto him. And that is a three on two situation. It is. The bomb has not been planted yet. So surely this is not going to be given away by, U by Ukraine as uh, you have two AKs left. So. It's all long-range battles, and uh, Ukraine actually still have their scope up, so... Surely this is not going to be lost, and especially, you know, if Mixer is in this kind of form, he picks up arcs. And Rolex is going to follow in his footsteps by taking down, uh... By taking down, I think that was... Hyperion? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, front two. Six. Perhaps we're going to see a fast plant. To, uh... Close it out, but it's not looking to be yet. It's gonna push the BL, he picks off Mixer. Danger Man has been down, but Baza and Rolex kills his teammate. Not great. Two on four as Unks drops Houdini. Sa and remaining for Ukraine. Can they do it? Will they go back? Unk's gonna pick up Adam. It's just left up to Rolex to clutch his one from a one on four. He's done that already to one on three. Will he do it? He actually uh, has got the bomb there, but Shady is there to pick it up. And it's gonna be 13 6. And uh, what a play by France. They really, really took this match quite comfortably. I say quite comfortably, they, they really took it comfortably. <laughs> Indeedy. So that is it. That is uh, Ukraine <coughs> taken down by France, ripped apart by France. I should actually say, because my God, that was a steamroll. French is on fine form. This Nations Cup so far, from what I've seen. So uh, yeah, they still have to meet up with Germany, right? Which is going to be a uh, be an interesting one. Yes, indeed, because. Germany has a really good lineup as well. They've got all those uh, ex uh, land players. I think it's J Scott and Co. with Tay. So never count them out. Yeah, like a uh, really good game.
I mean, I mean, at least from the Frenchies. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they play well. Anyway, the VODs will be up on my YouTube channel. You can find that below my uh, stream. Otherwise, I will post the VODs on the CyberGamer forums for you to uh, watch if you missed any of the action. And we'll be streaming tomorrow, I think. I'm not sure if you will. I just got a message. Tomorrow at 10, uh, Slovenia versus North America. Which could be an interesting match to see. But I'll, I'll keep you posted. So tomorrow at 10, and on Sunday we'll definitely be streaming. When they're all the uh, then then they're all the Cyber Game Nation Cup matches. So until then, uh, we'll see you next time. And uh, if you haven't done already, guys, follow the stream. We've hit three on the followers, which is awesome. And uh, we had quite substantial viewers as well today. Good for the Call of Duty 4 community, and let's keep it going with the streams and uh, with all the matches. And uh, yeah, I've been Rick together with Dins. Dins, any final uh, final words before we say goodbye to our uh, awesome uh, friends? Nah, it's actually uh, been a great pleasure casting with you again, and uh, let's hope uh, the next time we cast, it's not going to be either a really not not going to be a half map or a steamroll like this. Cause to be fair, as as much as I uh, I love uh, I love every team in Nations Cup and I want every team to do, do good, this was just a very very one sided game, and I would love to have seen it a little bit more tense. But nevertheless, like I said, a good game coming out of the Frenchies. Ukraine need to work. On